Today on the food crush, we will make simple vegetarian curry. Hello everyone, winter for me is all about comfort food, so still curry, I just love gathering around with my loved ones and enjoying some good food. And this vegetarian curry is truly a hit, it is rich, creamy and filling with lots of vegetables, so let's get started. We will begin with roasting our potatoes and carrots. I have here two potatoes and one carrot, already cut into chunks. Mix them up with vegetable oil, a pinch of salt and pepper, and sprinkle with curry powder for more flavors. I prefer roasting over adding them directly to the curry because it prevents them from losing the texture and becoming unsoggy. Now we'll put them in the oven, 190 degrees C for about 25 to 30 minutes until nearly cooked through. Move on to the preps. Here we have all the ingredients to make our curry shine. Garlic, onions, spring onions, tomatoes for a lovely sourness. And for my choice today, I got mushroom and broccoli. Feel free to change them up with your favorite ingredients. We keep the cooking really simple. Heat a pan or a pot of oven medium high heat and pour in 1 tablespoon vegetable oil. Add garlic, onions and white parts of the green onions. Saute them for a couple of minutes until aromatic. Then 2 tablespoons of curry powder in, nicely stirring with the onions and garlic. If you find the mixture too dry, add 1 tablespoon of unsalted butter and stir everything together until combined. Next step, we'll add the chopped tomatoes. A pinch of salt to have softened them faster and keep stirring for 2-3 to three minutes. After that, broccoli florets in. We want to mix them together with the tomatoes, but they don't need to be fully cooked at this stage. Jelly pour in 150 ml fresh water, following by 300 ml coconut cream or coconut milk for a rich and creamy texture. Well, actually, I add coconut milk in every dish that I can because it is so good. Add this beautiful roast potato and carrot finished at the perfect time. Now we'll add them to our curry along with the mushrooms. Simmer the curry for a couple of minutes more to fully cook the mushrooms and vegetables have come to absorb all the amazing flavors. Right before turning up the heat, mix a little bit cornstarch with fresh water and gently stir it in to thicken the curry and we are all finished. I hope you all have a great time watching this video and I'm looking forward to seeing your version of vegetable curry. Other than that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!